Hello friends and welcome to the Physio Voice. Today we will be talking about tissue healing and joint reactivity. So what do we know about various stages of tissue healing? We commonly say that stages of tissue healing can be decided on the basis of number of days post injury. But we must also be knowing about the other factors explaining the same. Stages of tissue healing can also be determined by joint reactivity and joint irritability. Today we will be learning more on joint reactivity and its clinical implications. Joint reactivity basically is pain or resistance offered by the tissues to the passive movement. So during the passive movement, if the patient experiences pain before the resistance to the passive movement is experienced by the therapist, it is suggestive of a highly reactive joint corresponding to the acute stage of healing. If the patient experiences pain at the same time when the resistance to the passive movement is experienced by the therapist, it is suggestive of a moderately reactive joint corresponding to the subacute stage. And if the therapist experiences resistance to the passive movement and then the patient experiences pain, it is suggestive of a low reactive joint corresponding to the chronic stage of healing. Here are the clinical implications of joint reactivity. Please do like our video, subscribe to our channel for more and share this video. Thank you.